Today marks the start of the third week of Battlefest, and DICE has set forward the Tides of War unlocks for this week, and the prize is the Trench Carbine, a brand new recon weapon. And straight up, I think this thing is an awesome addition to Battlefield 5. If you remember back to Chapter 3, Trial by Fire, you might remember the P08 Carbine. I thought that was another good pistol carbine added to the game, but it was not quite what I had in mind when it came to being aggressive. The Trench Carbine, however, that is a different story. This thing right now is the ultimate aggressive recon weapon. If you're looking to get yourself on the front line alongside medics and assaults, this is the weapon that you want to be using right now. And you know what else you should be using right now? Recording and streaming products from our sponsor Elgato. Whether you're looking to record HD gameplay or stream your content online, then Elgato has the tech that you need. Click the link at the top of the description to find out more. Okay, so then, this trench carbine. I'm not even going to ask the question, is it good? because I know just how damn good it is. I've spent about four hours playing with this thing this afternoon. I've hit rank 10 with it already, played plenty of rounds of Conquest on all the different infantry maps. I've basically fallen in love with this new weapon. The unlock for it, it isn't particularly difficult. I think at the most you have to complete five small challenges, although the top path, I think, you only have to do three challenges, so it's really not that hard to get your hands on this thing. And once you spawn in with it, you're going to realise the power that the Recon class can hold when you do start to play more aggressively. This is a weapon that not only allows you to compete directly with medics, assaults and support players, but you can actually outplay them in various different scenarios. And at the same time, you can be helping your team massively when it comes to awareness of enemy players. I'll explain why that is later on in the video, but first let's work through this specification tree because there are a couple of different ways that you can outfit this new weapon. Starting off, level 1 in the tree, it gives you the choice between Quick Aim and Light and Stock. I picked Quick Aim because I wanted to make sure that I could ADS faster and get my sights on target before the enemy that I'm facing has the time to start shooting back at me. Being an aggressive recon, that means you are going up against SMGs, you're going up against assault rifles and shotguns on turf where usually they're expecting to win 90% of the time. So anything that's going to allow me to compete a little bit more closely, I'm going to take that. The other option, light and stock, that would allow me to move faster whilst aiming down sight. So whilst that would also be a good option to take, I don't want to spend too much time aiming down the sights before I move on to the next target. You want to be mobile as an aggressive recon player, so quick aim is what I went for. Level 2 gives you the choice between enhanced grips on the left and swings and swivels on the right. Here I opted for swings and swivels because I also wanted to choose the right hand side option for level 3, and I'll get onto that in a second, but swings and swivels does give you a boost where you can shoot faster after you've been sprinting, which again, when playing as an aggressive recon, that is really, really important. Lots of enemies running around with fully automatic weapons, and you are at a disadvantage with a semi-automatic pistol carbine, so any kind of bump up in reaction times that you can get, you might as well take that option. The left side, as I've said, level 2 enhanced grips, that tightens up your hipfire accuracy and that also increases the range that hipfire remains an effective use of your weapon, so it is another good option, but as I say, I wanted level 3 to be a specific specialisation, so I didn't choose this option. Level 3 next, the level that I wanted to talk to you guys about, there's something quite exciting here, you can choose either polished action or select fire trigger. Polished action, that's on the left hand side of the tree, so if you chose the left hand side at level 2, you're stuck with this option. That reduces the accuracy penalty when firing from the hip, and it allows you to fire longer with better accuracy. And then the right hand side, the exciting one, select fire trigger. This activates fully automatic fire as an option for the trench carbine. You can now use the select fire button on your controller or on your keyboard to switch between semi-auto and fully automatic fire. Now, it's certainly not the fastest fully automatic fire mode available in Battlefield 5, but it does remove the need for you to tap repeatedly to fire bullets at your enemy, and that can really make a difference in close quarters, where each bullet really does count, 
and it can reduce the amount of time between each manual tap that you might have made at medium to long range, since the weapon is now doing that for you in fully automatic fire. So you can hold down mouse button one or you can hold down the trigger button on your controller and you've got a portable machine pistol carbine that's capable of firing at 360 rounds per minute. Again, that doesn't sound like too much, but it's really not that bad when enemy players aren't expecting you to be using this. At the moment, this is the only weapon in the recon class, the Trench Carbine, that supports fully automatic fire, and that has made me fall in love with this weapon. Moving away from semi-auto into fully automatic fire, it makes it a really hard choice to ignore in any situation where you're trying to pick what weapon you want to use. Battlefield 5, at least at the moment, has had a lot of infantry focus put into the maps that have been released and the playlist that DICE is choosing to run each week. Up until this point, apart from the other pistol carbine, the P08, recons haven't really had that much help in the close to mid-range engagements unless they want to switch over to their pistol. Now with the trench carbine, they have a really solid option where they're going to be able to compete with any other player who also has a fully automatic weapon. And then to finish up the tree, we have level 4. You can choose between quick reload or custom stock. I went for custom stock, that gives me an accuracy boost when firing in ADS. That complements my choice on level 1, where I can aim in a little bit faster. Quick reload is also a nice option, but that would probably be better paired with the left choices on level 2 and 3. They focus on hip fire, so having a quicker reload, that's probably more important. Now, earlier on in the video, I mentioned there was something that I wanted to talk about with the trench carbine that helps keep your teammates aware of enemy locations. Now, strictly speaking, it's not actually the trench carbine that does this part, but when I noticed what was happening during the matches that I was playing, I realized what was happening was because of the trench carbine. It wasn't the trench carbine that was actually doing it, but it was kind of the catalyst to what was happening. And it made me realize just how powerful a weapon like the trench carbine can be in the hands of a competent recon player. It's actually down to the combat role that you have active on your recon soldier that determines if you're going to see this same benefit or not. And during all the gameplay that you're watching in the background here, it's been active the entire time, but unless you've been looking for it, you may not have noticed it. If you have the sniper combat role active, you're going to notice that one of its traits is spotting enemies when you shoot them. Now with a bolt action rifle or a self-loading rifle or even an anti-material rifle, spotting an enemy when you've hit them with a damage shot to their body or their leg or something like that, that's going to alert nearby friendly soldiers to that enemy location, but the likelihood is that you've only spotted one, maybe two enemies if you're using a self-loading rifle. With a weapon like the Trench Carbine, you can do a lot more spotting because you've got 40 rounds in a magazine that you can fire before you have to reload. There's the potential here to spot quite a few enemies just by hitting them with one shot, and that's going to light them up on the 3D HUD with spot markers. Especially at the moment with the rotation of Operation Underground going live again, heavily infantry focused, and other rotations like Side by Side, which is active at the moment, that's putting all the infantry focus maps together in a conquest order. A weapon like the Trench Carbine that has the potential to mark several enemies in just one small location. Infantry are starting to bunch up around these maps because they're infantry focused and everyone wants to play around the choke point, so just a few shots and maybe you're marking two, three, four, maybe even five enemies in a short burst. And this carbine allows you to equip a two or three times magnification scope as well, so you can keep eyes on enemies fairly easily, but the spotting that comes via the sniper combat role that is invaluable to the rest of your team. It really nails down that information gathering focus of the recon class. So then, in summary, you should just unlock this brand new trench carbine and use it. It's great fun using the fully auto mode, and if you've got the right combat role applied, you can help pick off enemies by spotting loads of them with all the bullets that you've got. To me, right now, this in combination with the flare gun, it's the perfect aggressive recon weapon, and considering before this point there really weren't too many other ways to accomplish being an aggressive recon in Battlefield 5, 
it makes it really, really easy for me to recommend this weapon to you. Thanks very much for watching today. Let me know down below in the comments section if you're using the Trench Carbine. Have you unlocked it yet? Is it going to be your go-to weapon for the next week or so? Or is it just really not your style and you're looking for something else? Let me know down below in the comments section. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed it, a dislike if you didn't. And until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.